Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Jervis and I wanted to show you an easy way to take a small picture and upscale it to a large canvas. The picture I'm using is from the Tundra Swans. I'll show it to you. Tundra Swans and they come at about this time of the year all along Lake Huron and Lake Erie which are two of the Great Lakes. Question is, how do I get this image onto a large canvas? Well, first of all, what I do is I measure the outside measurements of the photo and the outside measurements of the canvas. The picture is five and a half inches by nine and a half inches. The canvas is 23 inches by 47 inches. And you wonder, how can I do this? Well, what you do is you divide the canvas by the photo. My picture on the narrow side is five and a half inches, but the canvas is 23 inches. So you divide 23 by 5.5 and that equals, oh, and that equals approximately four and a quarter inches. You do the same thing for the wide side and the wide side of the picture is nine and a half and the canvas is 47. So you divide 47 by nine and a half and that equals approximately five inches. inches. Next, thing, next thing you do is you take your photograph and you draw one inch squares on your photograph and you number the squares. I started one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way along until I got to 50 squares on this side. So now I know what my square numbers are and I know what is going to be in each square. When I'm done, I will not be using everything that's here, but if you have a very detailed picture, you will then have this grid. Now I go to my canvas. And when I said it's a big canvas, I mean it's a big canvas. And I know that the squares will be four and a half by five inches. So on a little piece of paper, I did the verticals at four and a half and the widths at five inches. And I started drawing where all these squares are, all the way down and all the way across and I numbered them exactly the same as what the photo is. But because the tundra swans are what I am really interested in, I took and blew up two areas of the tundra swans. And you can see these squares are a lot bigger than these squares, but there's more detail. And I coordinated and I numbered these squares exactly the same as they appeared on here. So this is square 14 and this is square 13. So once you have your background painted and you put your lines on, you can then do what we learned in the kids coloring books. You can take those shapes in the squares just the way they are in the photograph. And you find that this works for doing buildings. If you wanted to try animals, you can make your squares a bit smaller in order to get that right. People's faces, I've seen people do this for faces, but it's a good way to get a small picture onto a very large canvas. I hope this is helpful. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks again. Have a great day.